Hi kids, it's Mrs. McGreevy from Horizon Middle School and I am here today to show you how to use this temperature and humidity map. Um, in your week five packet on day four, you are asked to find some real-time temperatures of um, some areas around the state of Washington and all also the humidity. And so what I'm asking you to do is to go to this website when I am finished giving this instructional video and you are going to find the temperature of four places in the state of Washington. Now when you first get on this map you will probably see this view where you can see most of the world and you'll notice down here these warmer colors should look familiar to you. You've seen some maps like this before in your assignments. Uh, this is down by the equator. You've got some warmer ocean temperatures and land temperatures. And then as you move north away from the equator, you notice that the temperatures uh, of the ocean drop and um, also of the land. And so what I'm going to ask you to do today is we are actually going to zoom in to um, where we North America, which is right here, and the state of Washington is right here. So I'm going to come up here and uh, click on this zoom in button, the plus sign. And sometimes when I do this while I'm trying to record myself at the same time, it takes um, a little bit longer for the page to load. So just be patient while I'm uh, trying to get this to work properly, but it should it should work well for you on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, <clears throat> and every time I zoom in, I'm going to try and get the state of Washington kind of in the middle of my screen. It's right here. So by the time I zoom in far enough, I'll be able to see the parts of the state of Washington that I need. There's a little bit of a delay. And I'm going to wait for it to load. So we're just waiting, and here it comes. Okay. So um, this is a real-time map, so it gives us some uh, real current data on temperature and humidity and a lot of other things. So here's Seattle, and Ferndale is up here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit further. See if I can actually get Lima Ferndale to show up. There's Bellingham. And I think for now I may leave it right there. You can zoom it a little farther and find Ferndale, but I need to be able to see Wenatchee over here at the same time. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and click on temperature. And you'll notice under temperature is altitude. In the last section that you just packed, you learned about altitude. And so this is something we can change. It says 2M above ground. That two Meters. And if you remember in class, we've used a meter stick, so a meter would be the, be the length of one of these. And so I can change this, and if I click on this and open it up, it says five centimeters above the ground. So that is pretty much ground level, and that's where I want to start. So five centimeters on my um, meter stick would be right here. And that's approximately two inches, and that, that's where we're going to start. So I'm setting this at five centimeters above the ground, and in your packet, you're asked to take four temperatures, one in the Pacific Ocean, which would be here. Uh, so my first temperature at five centimeters above ground is approximately 50 degrees Fahrenheit, so then I would go back and jot that down in my packet. And then I'm going to come over here to where Ferndale is related, which is right up here. And I'm going to know it's kind of this is one of our warmest days we've had. Boy, oh my gosh, it's 70 degrees up in Ferndale right now. And um, over here would be Mount Baker. So you'll notice that that's a cooler, 62 degrees, 
depending on where I put that cursor, anywhere from 44 to 62 degrees. So uh, Mount Baker isn't exactly marked on here, but it is a bluish green area. And then I'm going to come to Winnipeg, which is on the east side of the mountains. And you'll notice that it's already 84 degrees. When I checked this earlier today, it was 70 over here, but that temperature has already risen up. So um, <clears throat> then after I mark those temperatures, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to change my altitude. And I'm going to come down here. There's a lot of different altitudes that are given, but I'm passing down here to 3,000 meters. Don't worry about this number right here that says 700. but 300 or 3,000 meters. I'm going to click on that and set this 3,000 meters. And what that's going to do now is that's going to give us the temperature at 3,000 meters above sea level. So that'd be about 10,000 feet approximately. And that is where you might see a small two or four seater airplane, maybe even flying um, that high. So you'll notice that now over the Pacific Ocean, it's 28 degrees Fahrenheit as I've gone up in altitude. And up here in Ferndale, it's uh, 27. And over here where Mount Baker would be it is 21 degrees Fahrenheit. And down at Wenatchee, 24. And remember, I'm about 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters above these areas, okay? So then I'm going to mark those numbers down in my chart on my, in my activity. And then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to change my altitude again. And I'm going to go up to 9,000 meters, which is about almost 30,000 feet. So that is where you might see a jet flying or if you're in an airplane, you might be in your traveling somewhere, you might be um, at 30,000 feet. So you'll notice now at the Pacific, Pacific Ocean, we are into negative numbers up at the, the 30,000 feet or 9,000 meter elevation or altitude. So it's negative 51 degrees Fahrenheit over the Pacific and up here near Ferndale or over Ferndale, it's negative 53. If I go over Mount Baker, it's negative 54. And I go down to Wenatchee, negative 53. So I'm going to make sure I mark all of those things in my chart today in my packet under day four on my table. The other thing that you're going to use this map for is you're going to come down here to where it says humidity. Now, we're only going to take the humidity at one level, which is uh, probably at ground level. It doesn't really say, but that's where I'm assuming it is. Um, so we go to this, you're just like on humidity. And then you can come over the Pacific Ocean and notice the humidity is 80%. Remember that humidity represents how much moisture is in the air. So the higher the percentage, the more moisture. And so over the Pacific, it's 80%. And as I go up here over land, up over Ferndale, it's 60%. And as I move farther east over Mount Baker, uh, it stays about 50 well, depending on where I put it, it could be anywhere from 50 to 70 percent. As I move over the mountains and go to Wenatchee, notice this percentage changes. So now it's at 30 percent. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and mark those percentages in your table today. And then I've got some questions for you regarding these numbers. Um, I want you to get some thought into interpreting what these numbers mean. Okay. All right, uh, let's get to work, and um, I'll see you again later.